Virginia is recognized for a minute and a half. Thank you, Madam Speaker. One of the most fundamental God-given rights that we possess, which is uniquely protected in our American Constitution, is the right to keep and bear arms for self-defense and to ensure that we remain a free people. We have seen under this administration, supported by the Democrat majority in this Congress, an unprecedented trampling on the basic rights of American citizens over the past two years. Our most precious freedoms to assemble together, to go where you want, to worship as you choose, to earn a living or operate your business, to keep your job or your employees, what you have to wear on your face, and whether or not you are required to receive a vaccine that you may not want or may not need, all trampled upon by Democrats in power. Democrats simply do not believe in the inalienable rights of American citizens to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They believe that your rights come from government, and they therefore have the right to take them away. The guarantee provided by our founders to ensure we remain free from foreign invasion, and yes, as our founders clearly warned us, from an oppressive government like we see in Canada, Australia, and the Democrats' beloved communist China, is the constitutional right of law-abiding citizens to be armed as they choose. Over and over, the founders affirmed and reiterated that Congress has no power, no power, to limit the right of lawful citizens to arm themselves. But H.R. 2377 would create a nationwide system of red flags. The gentleman's time has expired. Undermining this constitutional the guarantee gentleman's of due time process, has expired. which is required the gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman's time has expired.